morning, my fabulous 172. Welcome to another vlog. So I'm getting ready to do a little um, self-care day. So I'm going to start by making, well, actually, I'm going to be trying a new flavor of David's tea. This is the chocolate chip cookie flavor. Um, I got it on sale right before it was gonna be discontinued. So yeah, uh, I'm just now getting around to trying it. So yeah, I did smell it earlier because I, I just like to s smell my teas before I try them sometimes. So this one basically just smells like a bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So there are little miniature chocolate chips in this, so that makes sense. And these little Ziploc bag things are still difficult to open. So yeah, I'm gonna put about half a tablespoon of tea leaves into this infuser. If I can get it out. So there's kind of what they look like and I just dumped a tea leaf into the infuser lid. So I'm gonna put that in here. Seal it up and my water is boiling. So I'm gonna taste it when I come back. And I'm also gonna run my robot vacuum in the living room slash kitchen. So yeah. Okay, I'm back and I've got my tea and I'm gonna try it. Um, try to ignore the vacuum in the background if you can hear it because I just have spent, I don't know how long, just blocking off the living room rug so that it doesn't try to go on it because it's not made into that particular type of rug. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna give this a try and see if I like it or not. Yeah, um, I think it's too warm to taste anything right now. So. But yeah, that sip was a little bit better. And I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, it's not terrible, but I'm not quite sure that it tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. But anyway, I'm gonna go let this thing finish, and then I'll be back later. But before I do that, I wanted to come on here and just obviously do a clip for the vlog. Um, yeah, I realized that I totally forgot to do the podcast yesterday. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. And maybe I'll talk about... Since Earth Day is coming up, figured I would talk about some of the things that I do that 
are sustainable. <laughs> So one of the things is I use reusable straws. Some of them are metal, some of them are reusable plastic, but um, yeah, that's a thing that I do. I always keep some of these straws in my bag. Now this one is actually a little bit too long for the pouch that I have them in. And the rest of them that are in here are metal. And then I'm also, this is a box from a tea sampler that I got from David's Tea. And I'm using it in its tins to store my rhinestones. And it actually works really well for that. Of course, I have these. These are chopsticks that I will sometimes take with me and use for when I bring my lunch, provided it's a thing, a food that can be eaten with chopsticks. And then I also drink out of reusable water bottles and cups, rather than just disposable ones. And I use my own bags at the grocery store because they're reusable. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that I do, like using cardboard from cereal boxes and packages for nail polish palettes when I do my nails. And there are some other things that I do that I'm not going to mention because kind of personal. But those are just a few things that I do. And I, I've also recently started using... Ecosia, which for those of you that don't know, that is a search engine very much like Google, except with every 45 searches, they plant a tree somewhere. So uh, that's Ecosia summed up for you. And... Um, Yeah, um, that's all that I have to talk about for now. I'm sure there's others that I missed that I will cover later because by the time you're seeing this, it's gonna be Saturday. Okay, so I just finished eating and brushing my teeth. So now I'm gonna go through the things that I missed earlier that I do that are sustainable and or earth friendly. So, other things I do. Now, since I'm obviously no longer in school, I don't really, I don't pack my lunch that often, but when I do, I pack the food items in reusable containers where that's possible. So, um, there's that. And I also store food leftovers in reusable containers instead of Ziploc bags. And then, and this one is more related to Halloween costumes and stuff. So instead of purchasing new, I will oftentimes make my Halloween costumes from just regular clothes. Of, I'll just like put together an outfit that could pass for a costume. From my clothes in my closet or if I have need to buy the clothing for it I will buy it used usually. Uh, I've also done this with electronic accessories. Now I'm not talking about chargers and things because those are just iffy but I have in the past bought used cases for my iPad and they have been perfectly fine, worked just as well, and I may not use plastic grocery bags, however, my family does. So I reuse those, those bags for trash bags in my 
trash cans that are in my bedroom and my bathroom. And I also reuse the boxes from my packages to wrap gifts, whether it be birthday gifts, Christmas, um, whatever, any occasion where you might give someone a gift. If I have boxes from packages, I will use them to wrap presents. <laughs> so, and that's everything that I missed. I also am gonna be doing a different video next week in relation to this topic. I would do it tomorrow, but unfortunately, the items that I got for that video will not be here until next week. So that's when I, I, I can't do it when I want to because of shipping things. So I did this instead. And now I'm gonna go do captions for this and edit. And then I'm gonna watch a movie. Okay, it is Saturday, and as you know, I ordered some eco-friendly products to test for my next video, and they've gotten here early, so... The box is big. Uh, well, yes, because there's multiple items in it. Um, I'm not sure if this is all of it yet, but we're gonna open this box and see what's all in here. And then I will do the video testing these products on Wednesday. So, uh, all right, let's let's get started. <laughs> yeah, you can open it. Okay, there's that side. There you go. Here. So uh, here's the first bag of stuff. These are reusable paper towels. Oh, so place mat, pizza mat. Actually, these are cookie. These are baking sheets. They're silicone, and these are a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. Did you thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger? I thought they were gonna be a lot bigger, but. That's okay, we can still try these on some smaller pants when I test them out. So we're just gonna get into this. Actually, yeah, let's turn this box over and we'll use it as a tape, basically <laughs> a false tabletop. And we will try these. Well, not try them, but we're gonna open them and view them. I will be testing them out in a video, and I'm not sure why all this stuff comes wrapped in the, so much plastic. They could be gifts. No, that's don't beeswax paper. Uh, really? Yes. So don't open it? Not yet. But what you can do is slide this over here, because that obviously can be used as a storage bag. Uh, th so, this is the card that just shows everything that's in the box. So, I'm just gonna open them. Oh, what the... Wow, these are weird. What are these? Oh, um, so these are covers that can go on little bowls and things. <laughs> And it's to use for when you don't have a lid for a bowl, but you also don't want to use tin foil or plastic wrap. Yeah, and it looks, there's little smiley faces on them. I don't know if you can see that. 
So we're, as we open each item, we're just gonna put it inside of here, and that's where I'll store them. Peek-a-boo. Um, let's not put them on our face. <laughs> I thought these were contained first. No. <laughs> they are not. They're lids. And they come in various sizes for various sized bowls. So that's those. And we also have some reusable Ziploc bags. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. Um, where's the pack? There it is. Oh, Levy? Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> yep. So we have. All these are very sized Ziploc bags. Oh, I think these are supposed to be like little snack bags, but these are actually bigger than I thought they were gonna be, but okay. You can take these to work and stuff. Yes. Oh, or for packing my lunch. You can't see shit. You can't see nothing through these. Yes, you can. Look. Yeah, but not through, but not through here. Yep, those are the, like, sandwich size bags, which are kind of huge, too. I can't see you. Okay. Yeah, these... We'll deal with that later. And the beeswax wrap. This is not beeswax. Yes, it, it's beeswax paper. It's not scented. Yeah, it's not is scented. Is it actually wax? Yeah, it's beeswax paper. Can you write on it? Oh, look, see? I don't think you can write with it. No, it's to wrap food and stuff in. But there's the, that, what that looks like. You'll see more of that in the, vid in the main video. And now we have, yeah, these are the paper towels. And we're just going to take it out for a second and just, uh, wrapped in plastic. Yeah, we're going to put it back in the box when, oh. What? Like, sort of feels kind of almost just like regular paper towels, so. Yeah. That's that. Um, we'll just stick it back in here. Exactly what you need. Yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Now, last thing. Yeah, that's for a, this is for a small pizza. They're sticky as hell. Well, yeah. Where's, hold up. Oh, I was about to say, I thought I had three nuts. I do. So. So 
So I guess this makes like small like jelly cookies or something. I don't really know. So that's these. And it just shows that it's, oh, um, apparently they're dishwasher safe, which is great. So yeah, and this is probably one of the longest unboxings I've ever had. But anyway, I'm gonna go um, get this stuff organized and I'll, we'll be back tomorrow, later to do the outro. All right, that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you liked it. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want, you can check out my links down in the description below. The first of which is for my affiliate with So Sick Clothing. There's a promo code through them, which will get you 15% off site-wide. That promo code is... Oh, Grace, 15. And the rest of my links are for my website, my podcast, L Grace After Hours, new episodes of that every Wednesday on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, pretty much any podcast platform you can think of. And of course, there's my spring store, my music. And last but not least is my social media. Thank you for watching, and above all else, stay fabulous. Bye!